I wish 30 years ago before I started coaching, somebody would have taught me this basic putting concept because once I learned it, it made me a way better coach when it came to improving my students' putting. And that concept is, how should the putters be working as it comes in contact with the golf ball? Should it be slowing down? Should it be accelerating? Or should it be maintaining speed? And you probably are thinking to yourself, well, we know it shouldn't be slowing down. We know that we don't want to decelerate, but a lot of golfers are taught to accelerate and almost pop it. And I don't think that that's correct. What we want is we want to make sure that the putter is maintaining speed. And I got a couple great drills I'm going to share with you on how to do that. Because when the putter is maintaining speed through the strike, it's much easier to be consistent with the delivery and therefore your consistency with rolling the golf ball the right distance. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. And then we'll talk about a couple drills. So I've got my G-Track and I'm set in here. I'm just gonna, you can do these if you're rolling it to a cup, maybe 20, 30 feet, or you don't even have to go to a cup because we're really focused more on the delivery speed. So a good motion would look something like this, where I'm rolling the ball and the putter is maintaining the speed through the strike. Now you can see that ball rolled really well and it had good distance to it. Now a lot of golfers, because they've been decelerating, when they get in and they get set to putt, they actually try to accelerate and the ball pops off the face and it's very difficult to control that distance. So the first concept that I want you to learn here is that the putter should be maintaining speed as it comes in contact with the golf ball. So how can we practice that? Well, my favorite drill, I've got two of them for you, but one of my favorite drills is what we call the pause and go. So here's how it works. I got my G-Track set in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a backstroke and I'm gonna literally pause and count to myself 1,001, 1,002, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go forward. Okay, so it looks like this. I'm set in, back, 1,001, 1,002, and then I'm gonna go forward. Now, why does this work? Well, it works because the purpose of the backstroke on any shot in golf is to create the right amount of length and the right amount of speed so that the club can maintain its speed going through and deliver the proper cadence and rhythm to get the golf ball to go where you want it to, especially on the short game shots. A little different as we get into drivers and power swings and things like that. So let's go ahead and hit one. And I'm gonna share with you one more drill. So here we go. I'm set in here, all right? I'm gonna take it back, 1,001, 1,002, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just let the putter flow forward. Now, great speed on that, great rhythm, great cadence. What you'll notice is that if your backswing is too short and you stop and pause, you're gonna feel like you have to accelerate. If it's too long, you're gonna have to decelerate. So it's a great way to train the length of the stroke required for the distance that you want the golf ball to travel. Now the second drill that I wanna share with you, that I share with almost all of my students, is what I call the trail hand only. So I'm a right-handed golfer. And I'm just going to go ahead and grip it in my trail hand, my right hand, and just make some practice swings and some motions. Now the reason I love this is because when we think of other things that we do, you throw a baseball, a softball, a football, you're writing with a pencil or a pen, you typically do things with your dominant hand. That's where your best touch and your best feel is. And in a good putting motion, okay, I believe, all right, if you watch any of our stuff, you know this, that the lead side kind of controls the club face so that it stays square, and the trail side is kind of your power source. All right, it's your rhythm, it's your feel, it's what delivers the power. So this drill here, trail hand only, I just go ahead and make some motions, let the putter kind of swing like so. All right, you'll notice I'm also doing this drill while looking at the cup or where I want the ball to go because I'm really engaging my senses. Go ahead and get set up, just kind of let it flow. Oh, fantastic. And what you're gonna find is really great rhythm. So I wish 30 years ago, somebody would have taught me that the putter should be maintaining speed as it comes in contact with the golf ball. It's not accelerating, certainly not decelerating, it's maintaining speed. These couple concepts, these drills can help you do just that.